This is a little backstory of Chatty Riyad and essentially the type of player that he is and could become for club and country. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. So today I wanted to talk about a Moroccan player that in his official debut season as of now has been on a upward trajectory he is one that many moroccan fans kind of doubted at first but he has gradually gained the trust of many fans who believe that he should be in contention for the african cup of nations final squad list for morocco and this player is none other than chadi riyad a player that i will talk about but before we get started Started. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe as it does help promote my channel to an audience looking to learn more about Moroccan football. But with that being said, let's go ahead and begin. Chadi Ria was born on June 17, 2003 in the scenic local of Palma de Mallorca. Growing up in the neighborhood of San Gatileu in a Moroccan family from Larache, his childhood was marked by football games near his home at Atletico Rafal and in 2011 Riyad began his formal football journey at the Youth Academy of RCD Mallorca making a name for himself in the local football scenes. Now Riyad's early career saw him playing for CD San Francisco under coach David Munoz and after which he returned to RCD Mallorca his talents didn't go unnoted as he would catch the eyes of scouts from several clubs including FC Barcelona and Villarreal CF who during his youth development years had sought him as a potential young player who had the capability to go far in his future. Now it wasn't until 2019 where it marked a pivotal turn for Chadi Riyad's career as he would go on to join the renowned FC Barcelona's Youth Academy and during his time with the under 19s team he was a significant player leading to some exceptional moment and essentially having one part in his career where it led to a small loan spell with C.E. Savadell in the Spanish second division as this allowed him to continue growing and excelling as a player as many of the youth coach had expected of him. Now by July 2022 Riyad had ultimately returned back from his loan spell and after some positive reviews from some of the coach, they ultimately decided to extend his contract with Barcelona. This was an indication of his rising prominence within the club. Now, moving forward the, into the 2022-2023 season, this saw Chati Riyad emerge as a key player for FC Barcelona Athletic in which his debut in the Primera Division RFEF and subsequent training with the first team under Xavi highlighted his growing importance at the club as he would ultimately juggle between playing with the athletic club and gaining first team experience by training with the first team as well. And after some time of you know contemplating what he wanted to do in his career, Chetty Ria ultimately decided to take a huge gamble in his career and in July 2023, Chetty Ria would go on to make another significant step in his career by making a loan move to Real Betis in which he would play be playing under coach Manuel Pellegrini, which he made his mark by debuting in a friendly match against Burnley FC and later would go on to play his official first league match against his parent club FC Barcelona. And though that first game was ultimately not the best performance he's had, Riyad has definitely grown into his own, ultimately becoming a focal player for the club as you know this was more of a coincidence considering all the injuries that had been arising for Real Betis as well as other players ultimately leaving 
which created a first team pass which Pellegrini has said was something of a shock considering that when they had loaned him in the original was for him to gradually uh, gain some first team minute and slowly worked his way up but Pellegrini would go on to state that his trajectory and being able to become a main focal for the club was something that not even him, he himself would have imagined but to this day Chatty Riyad has become a mainstay for Real Betis so much that Manuel Pellegrini and the rest of the board of Real Betis have been working tirelessly in the hopes of making his loan a permanent move. Now, talking about Chatty Riyad's international career, where he would go on to make several appearances throughout Moroccan national team's youth category, always stated as a kid that he was more compelled playing for Morocco and though Spain on several occasions did try to bring him in he ultimately always felt that he wanted to be with Morocco having played several friendly to the point where he was called up by the under 23 national team Cup for the upcoming African Cup of Nation where he at times though wasn't given much of a chance to start with the team but whenever he got his opportunities he was a pivotal player for the national team as him and the rest of his teammates would go on to win the prestigious African Cup of Nations and ultimately get Morocco's under 23 their first piece of silverware from the Nations Cup and from there on he would continue to have be a mainstay with the under 23 making an appearance for them in variety of games to the point where he was even included for the senior national team on several occasions but has yet to feature for the national team in an official minutes. Now what is Chaddy's Riyadh overall play? How does he compare to other and what does he bring to his club? Well standing out as a player for his physicality and ball control Riyadh has been one that has impressed all of the coaches especially in the youth category for FC Barcelona because of his maturity his leadership on the field and many coaches like Xavi and Rafael Marquez have praised his quality as a defender highlighting his potential for a significant future in football especially one that they have considered a smart and young and up and coming center back and it has definitely showed considering that to this point, as of this recording, Chatty Riyad has yet to receive a yellow card or a red card in the games that he has officially played in La Liga. So that is a testament to how smart of a defender he actually is. So there you have it. This is a little backstory of Chatty Riyad and essentially the type of player that he is and could become for club and country. Ultimately, from everything that I have described in the little backstory of him, he is one that is definitely, you know, making a case for becoming a future starter for Moroccan national team. You know, it's even crazy considering that I, as a fan, believe that he could even be in contention for making the final squad list for the upcoming African Cup of Nations for the senior squad. So, I, though I do want, would like him there, I feel it would be better in everybody's interest that he would stay with Real Betis as his progression with the club has been phenomenal and I would rather him continue to develop with club and just later down the road be able to play with the senior squad but ultimately he is a player that I have a lot of high hopes going forward into this future but let me know what you all think. What do you think of Chatty Ria? Do you think that he will end up becoming a lock starter for our national team going forward? Or do you think he'll just be, you know, like one of those players who every now and then comes and plays for the national team? I would love to hear your thoughts and opinion. But more importantly, I am just glad that you all made it to the end of this video. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video. Take care, everybody.